Hey everyone, Technometry here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to transfer your iPhone photos to your PC, laptop, or computer. So let's get started. So the very first thing you need to do is connect it through a wire. So you're going to take your wire using USB-C or Lightning, depending on your model, and take the other end and then plug it into your computer. So you have a USB-C, which makes it easier. So I'm going to look for it on this side. If you have USB-C or the regular USB-C, just look for the port and then plug it in, or you might have to use an adapter, but we need to make a connection here. Now, once you do that, you're gonna see this cable come up that says allow access to photos and videos. You're gonna hit allow and then trust the computer. So this is an important step. If this doesn't work, go ahead and basically turn, unplug and plug it in until you get that, because that will allow your phone and the computer to talk to each other so you can basically move the photos or transfer them over. Now, once you have that connected, you can basically put the phone aside, make sure it's still plugged in, and then you're gonna go to your computer, and then in the search bar, just search of Photos app, the Photos app itself. And when you open up the Photos app, which is a default app on your computer, it's gonna load up all the photos, basically on your galleries. So I'm gonna hit next here, if it's your very first time, so we're gonna go ahead and click next. go to photos so once you go to photos I'll make it this a little bit bigger basically it's all the photos that are on your computer here that you see here so I have a bunch of photos here but what will happen is you'll see an option up here for import if you tap on it if your phone is connected correctly it will say Apple iPhone you can tap on that and what will happen is it's going to ask you permission on your device here so you're going to see again we're going to hit allow and then give permission and then put that and then you might need to do an ID verification and then we're going to retry here and you'll see here it's trying to load the photos that are on my album here right here so it'll take a ton some time depending on again how much photos and videos you have so it'll see it'll load up if you have hundreds or thousands you're going to have to be waiting for some time because it takes time for the well, basically the connection to pick up. Now, once it's done, all you're gonna do is basically, you'll have the option to select all photos if you wanna transfer all photos in one shot. So you can select all new ones or all of them. So if you did it before, you'll select new ones. If you didn't, you select all and then add to your album. Now, that's gonna take some time if you have a lot. Let's say I have like maybe two or three photos or videos. I can just hit that add option and then here basically on this computer you have the option to save it to a specific folder or you can create your new one so I'll say iPhone pics as an example I create a new folder and I'll hit OK and then import and then you can see here I imported two of them to my pictures here so I can click on it and see these photos here and after that you see the photos are in my gallery so even if I disconnect the Wire, I'll see the photos are available there transferred and with this method you can transfer all of them or a few of the photos and videos and I hope this video was helpful if so please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks we'll see you guys next time